Okay, it's Henry again, and this is an unboxing video for the Master Grade Double Zeta Gundam Verka. And this was a kit that I was very excited about when it was first announced because I love the Double Zeta Gundam. And uh, I used to have the old Master Grade 1.0, and when it came out, it wasn't a bad kit, but it has not aged very well, so. I think the Double Zeta was definitely a uh, good candidate for getting an update in the Master Grade line. So this came out in uh, what was it September? Yeah, September of 2017. So your typical Kotoki box art, white background, and uh, this is in the middle of their uh, mid-year campaign for. Gundam.info where they have prizes and stuff. Uh, 6,000 yen is the retail price, so uh, not quite as much as the last few Verkaws, like the Psycho Zaku and the Thunderbolt Gundam. Got this one from New York Comic Con, so it's got a little bluefin sticker here. Uh, there is the uh, G Fortress mode, some specs on the kit, front and back shot of the completed kit, some detail photos. Showing off things like the head and the shoulders and the missiles and the chest vents and the core fighter, stuff like that. And then a whole bunch of info in not only Japanese, but also English, because uh, Bandai has been putting English translations on their boxes and manuals for a little bit over a year now, I think, at the time of this recording, so yeah. This will actually be really good because uh, now all that uh, plethora of information that's in the uh, Verka manuals will now be in English for us non-Japanese speaking people. So here's the A-Runner. Actually, I think two A-Runners. Yeah, identical. That's the little Gumpla mid-year campaign thingy. Uh, don't bother copying that serial number because I already submitted it. So, uh, you got the blue parts, yellow parts, uh, a few white parts here, and a bunch of clear parts. It always makes makes me wonder why they always do the landing gear for the core fighter in clear. That just seems odd to me. Anyway, uh, so I think those two runners are identical. Got a runner of white parts. Looks like a lot of parts for the legs. There's the oversized beam sabers there, shoulder armor, feet, forearms, a very small sheet of foil stickers, just the eyes, uh, and a few cameras, and then an identical runner on the other side of that baggie. So here's a runner of red parts for the wings, uh, thruster, innards, uh, there's the missiles for the backpack, See, just a few other little bits and pieces there. Here's some white parts that won't be uh, duplicated. So front skirts, the head, the pilot figures, uh, a few little parts for various things here and there. Oh, uh, also in there is the beam sabers. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the same beam saber effect part used on Perfect Grade RX-78 Gundam. All right, and inner frame bits. Got some big chunks of plastic here for the backpack. One thing I thought was really interesting is that the wings on the forearms actually have a bit of inner frame to them, so that's kind of cool. I noticed in the promo photos it had some gray peeking through, so uh, little parts of the missiles are going to be attached to inner frame stuff. Looks like mostly the upper body here, and then these backpack parts. Uh, barrels for the beam cannon and a duplicate runner there. Another runner of blue parts. Uh, looks like the torso and the double beam cannon and I think it's pretty much it. Runner of poly caps. Let's see. PC 112, no, PC 211. Not really sure. I don't know. It doesn't look familiar, but I'm sure I've probably run right across that polycarp runner before. And this is kind of interesting. Um, you know, we occasionally with, oops, 
uh, gunpla kits will get silver parts. Uh, I know Sazabi Verka had some silver parts. Uh, but these are different. If I'm not mistaken, these parts look like they're just regular plastic, but they've been sprayed with a silver paint. Because this is definitely different than uh, the silver plastic that we usually see. It almost really does look like Bandai just painted these parts silver on the runner, so I guess we'll find out once I get into this. More inner frame stuff, an even larger runner than uh, the last one. Looks like mostly inner frame parts for the uh, lower half of the body, legs, waist section, feet, stuff like that. Another very, very large runner, more inner frame stuff. Uh, this looks like torso parts, skirt armor parts. We got the hands here, and they are the switchable finger hands, like has been with most Master Grades lately. Another runner of red parts, looks like a partial copy of the last red runner, but uh, adding some more stuff to it. Also, we've got our water slide decals here for all our caution markings. Not a whole lot of like big extravagant detail uh, decals, sorry. Uh, mostly just caution markings and then some uh, stripes and stuff. So sort of minimalistic with the uh, decals on this kit. Minimalistic stylistically, definitely not uh, minimalistic in volume. And then last baggie is black parts, and these I think are basically all going on the backpack. So that's basically just all the outer armor parts for that. And last but not least is the manual. So we got a nice headshot of the double Zeta here. And then, like I was mentioning earlier, all that uh, good info that previously, for those of us who don't speak Japanese, we just have to look at the pretty pictures and uh, pretend that uh, we can <laughs> read the Japanese, but now it's all been translated into English, which uh, is really useful for these like design interviews. Like here's an interview with Katoki talking about uh, making the double Zeta Verka. And you got the Japanese up at the top and then the English translation down at the bottom. So that'll be really cool to flip through that and read about how this kit was made. So parts layout. They start us off building the core fighter. Then we move on to the torso and the head and the arms. Little wings, feet, legs, more legs. The legs are really complex on this kit. Got the little interview in the middle. And then this is the backpack. And then looks like we're moving on to the uh, weapons first, then transformation. Yeah. So weapons, transformation takes up. Looks like four or five pages. And then the last two pages are the decal and color guide. So, definitely looking forward to this. Uh, this is a kit that I was really excited about and I'm very happy Bandai came out with it. I have ordered the uh, advanced, not advanced, I keep saying advanced, uh, in enhanced double zeta parts for this kit which is the P Bandai add-on set. Most P Bandai kits lately have some sort of bonus add-on set. I was really kind of hoping that for this kit it would be the full armor parts but it looks like at first anyway we're gonna get the uh, enhanced double zeta parts which is kind of like the uh, precursor to the full armor so we'll see I'm sure we'll get full armor parts somewhere down the road just not right out of the gate so that does it for this unboxing video and with that I'll see you guys next time